first of all please allow me to thank you for the kind compliments that have been showered upon me by anshul sir and dr khan it's actually quite overwhelming and quite humbling at the same time that uh, people are saying such good things about me and uh, if i'm being completely honest that uh, 10 people work hard but only unfortunately one of them makes it to the list so i should say that it is after hard work it is more of a stroke of luck that i was able to achieve whatever rank i got so i would say that the kind compliments that have been showered are uh, not entirely deserved but it is just uh, god almighty's grace that i was able to do so secondly to address the question sir personally for me it was an evolutionary process see i was a iit kanpur graduate and uh, during my college days i was highly interested in civil engineering and that's incidentally my optional as well so in college days uh, i if i could say in hindsight i made a mistake i had a very narrow perspective extremely narrow if i, if I could be honest i used to say that engineering is the greatest form of knowledge and uh, civil engineering is the greatest form of engineering this is what i used to say back in 2014 and i had one debate saying that saying that civil civil engineers build the civilization and civilization Uh, in civil engineers build the infrastructure that supports the civilization so what is bigger than the civilization so i in hindsight i can say it's a mistake because every discipline has something to contribute to the society and if it was if it was not contributing it would have been sidelined so if i'm being completely honest the first spark that came to me regarding preparing preparation for civil service that came when i joined indian railways you see sir after my graduation even before my convocation happened after my end semester exam i wrote the engineering exam engineering service exam of upsc that was formally called ies exam ies yes yeah so i secured all india rank 6th in 2013 after that i joined railways in december 2014 until then i had that narrow perspective which i just mentioned once i joined the training i got exposure to various disciplines that are constantly intermingling with each other and contributing to the benefit of the society specifically speaking i was doing the foundation course at national academy of indian railways there i got a chance to interact with the probationers from irts iras irps and i got to i got to learn that there is so much beyond the domain of civil engineering to learn so much to apply and civil services provides us an opportunity to learn every day apply what we learn across the widest cross section of the society and they were contribute in the most direct manner beyond the domain of civil engineering as well and not excluding the civil engineering but including it so that is when i started preparing for civil services exam along with my training in indian railways so this was actually my fourth attempt in first attempt back in 2015 i could not clear i took i did not write the 2016 exam in 2017 i got 402 rank in 2018 i got 248 rank and now the result is there so it has been basically an evolutionary process and i developed more and more interest in the content as i went along so hopefully this contributed to my result thank you so much i think abhishek abhishek ji you are you are uh, you are too generous that people are showering you with respect and all those kind words actually you have achieved something and i think you are habitual of it you said that in ies you secured 6th and in ias you secured 8th so now one positive aspect that i can identify in your personality is that you are uh, you know incrementally learning in your life like 402 then 282 then 8 and uh, since you have the exposure of uh, three prelims so many students find it really very difficult to clear the prelims because of the nature of the uh, competition that is cut throat and the number of questions which are certainly put very dicey in nature like you have to select between these two and uh, those uh, options they seems like uh, almost equal and you have to eliminate sometimes so my direct question to you is abhishek ji for the viewers that what was your approach to deal with the prelims see there are two things generally toppers say something's like uh, the preparation of prelims and mains goes together and you have to study for only put two months or even one month or some people say even 15 days is enough i personally most humbly would beg to differ because i don't subscribe to these opinions see i say that preparation for prelims and mains is quite different quite separate but it has to go for the entire year i'll explain i'll elaborate see what i did was i made my own notes first thing first of all i did not rely on any coaching's notes any material that is available in the market so for that you have to study the newspaper religiously entirely and uh, for the entire year and uh, i made my notes separately for prelims as well as mains that's it. that is why i said preparation goes all the year round but separately my prelims notes were separate mains notes were separate what i did was when you are reading the newspaper you have to keep an eye out for questions that can be asked in prelims that you will develop a knack for it by reviewing the last year's questions or previous year's questions so for i can give you an example for example there is this terrorist group boko haram it is active in nigeria i it is in news for at least once a month so any day of the year any prelims can this question can appear 
but you cannot rely on coaching completely that their material will cover this you should be able to identify when you read this in newspaper and put it in your prelims notes separately that is what i did 